Welcome back to more Trails in the Sky. Last time we got destroyed by this guy, but that's not going to happen this time. I refuse to let that happen this time. First of all, we're going to start off with an Aqua Bleed. We know that this guy is, has high physical defense, so we just got to use Arts. I bet, I bet the the breaks or uh, craft breaks probably do more damage than than the uh, than the arts, but those need to be charged up. So, uh, hey, you know what? Let's do. Let's have Joshua put a speed increase on himself because his magic does more damage, and speed is very important because it'll determine like turns and stuff. Of course, basic RBG logic. So he still only does 30, whereas Joshua's doing like, I think, was it, what was it, 90 that Joshua's doing? Soul Blur. Yeah, 99. You know what, let's just attack this guy since we got strength up this time. 30, there we go, that's, that's much better. We gotta be careful though, because this guy explodes when he gets, when he, uh, and he dies. So we need to like. I think Joshua will be okay where he is, but I'm gonna actually move Estelle back. That way she doesn't get blown to bits when this guy self-destructs. I don't think it'll hit Joshua either. Okay, it did. Well, he survived anyway, though. That's that Let's move Mission up. complete. All right, now let's us uh, let me heal up Joshua a little bit. Oops, tear. Right. I'll meet you guys back at Roland. See you guys in a moment. All right, back here in Roland. Let's go turn in our request here. Report it, I guess rather. Oh, we got to right. We got to report the farm stuff too. Good morning. How did the job at the farm go? Um, we hit a few bumps in the road, but. Let me give you a brief report of the details. Thousand Mirror, one BP. Ooh, we ranked up to eighth class. Nice. Information Quartz. Ooh, that's pretty nice quartz. I see. So you end up, so you ended up setting the monsters free because the Purcell family requested you to do so. I think it was premature on their part, but I won't pursue the matter any further. Is it okay to leave things at that? The mission of a bracer is to protect civilians and uphold justice. However, there are many ways we can protect those around us, and if there are as many and there are as many forms of justice as there are stars in the heavens. As a bracer, it's your job to be able to discern these things. Indeed, our work has very profound implications if you think about it that way. It's because we weren't we aren't an organization that deals strictly with monster problems. We also intervene when disputes arise between nations. To become a high-ranking bracer, one must have more than combat strength. A well-honed mind and flexible problem-solving skills are also required. A sharp mind and problem-solving ability, huh? Serious? The road to the big leagues sounds a lot steeper than I originally thought. <laughs> well, then your only choice is to devote yourself to working hard every day. Since you're both here, why don't I give you the details of your next job? Those are the words I've been waiting to hear. I'm ready for anything, so what have you got lined up for it this time? Another monster that needs a good whooping? Another, ugh, that needs a good whipping? Not this time. This next job will entail the transportation of goods. And get this, your client is none other than Mayor Klaus himself. Really? A request from the mayor? You think it'll be alright leaving such an important task up to us? From what I've heard, it's a pretty simple job. In any case, I'd like you to speak with the mayor directly about the job details. Before we do that, though, let's check... Okay, we got a bunch of new things here. Okay, orbit replacement. We'll see. Okay. This is this is a short-term one, so we want to try to get... Get this, um... Get this one done. This one we can do later. During, during the story. I remember this part. And, let's see, that we can do later, and that we can do later. But this orbit replacement, that's something we need to do, like, pretty much immediately. But before we do that, let's go back here to the sewers, because conveniently back here in the sewers, there's a healing spot. This thing heal. This thing heal. Good English. Oh, and we ran into that guy on the way back. Good job, us. Let's just run.
So yeah, let's get that healed up, and then let's us uh, talk. Oh, what do you have to say, actually? Oh, it's Charles. Thanks for finding my rock earlier. You really haven't had a time. That said, I can't believe my mom is trying to sell folk, folk crafts in a city that has ships that can fly. It's just amazing how brazen she is when it comes to business. Okay. All right, Mildred's Orbital Factory. It was. Was it you? Yeah. Well, hey there. You two for new races seem to be having some success lately. Been hearing a lot about your hard work recently. Yeah, that's because we're still new at this, so we have to work extra hard. That's encouraging to hear. You guys actually came at a good time. I've got an urgent job that needs to be taken care of. You think you'd be up to the task of replacing an orbit light on a road lamp along the Milch main word? Right? Sure, why not? You just leave it to us. If you're fine with us doing the job, then we'll gladly accept. Thanks, I really appreciate this. I completely forgot it needed to be replaced today. First off, I'll need to give you the replacement part. This is the replacement orbit? That's right. I want you to replace the orbit in road lamp number 6 on the Milch Maid Road to the west. It's the sixth road lamp that you'll come across counting from Roland's west entrance. Make sure you get the right one. I think I got it. The sixth road lamp from Roland's west entrance, right? Once you've found the road lamp, you'll need to open the maintenance panel. You'll need a six-digit combination to open it. Are you serious? Yes, the combination for the sixth road lamp is 544818. I'm sorry, could you repeat that again? It's 544818. That's right. Good memory, Joshua. Show off. After the combination entered the into the panel will open, and after that, all that's left is to replace the orbit. May seem like a simple task, but make sure not to, not to mess it up. The road lamp may have been out of order for a while now. I see. It's a lot of the orbits keep the large monsters away, right? It's not much more than an unconscious dislike for them, but if they do go out, then we run into real problems. Which is why I'm asking you to do this job, just in case. These road lamps are placed just off the roads in areas where monsters are more likely to appear. Well, you just leave those monsters to me and I'll take care of them. But I'd better write down the combination before I forget. Then maybe you should let me deal with the combination instead. I'll leave it, to, I'll leave it up to you two to divide the work amongst yourselves. That should be everything you need to know, so good luck. If you need to double check or cancel the job, then come and talk with me again. But we don't need to do either of those things. So we shall head straight to do this because it's very, it's very short, short uh, time frame we have to do this. So one, that's a road lamp, by the way. Two, three. Four, five, and number six should be right here. From what Freddy said, I think this is the road lamp. I'm fairly certain this is the right one too. It says road. It says road lamp number six on the panel as well. You're right. It does. Alrighty then. Let's get this. Let's get to work and finish this job. Unfortunately, it may not be that easy. What do you mean? Where did all these monsters come from? Looks like the orbit really has burned out. Anyway, one of us will need to fend off the monsters while the other replaces the orbit. Yeah, you're right. Well then. Uh. You know what? Let's take the monsters. Leave the monsters to me. Do you guys see what I'm seeing? There's an extra Estelle that just appeared on the far right of the screen. Game? What? Okay. Sure. Whatever. I'll open the maintenance panels, so hold them off until then, Estelle. Got it. There's just another Estelle just hanging out over there. Huh. Funny. Anyway. Yeah. These guys aren't that powerful, so we should be fine. Famous last words. Ah, uh, we're fine. I think these guys are actually weakened a little bit so that, you, that Estelle can handle them on her, on, on her own. Pretty sure they are. I do not want to use them. The Eva Critical only does 13 damage, so yeah, these guys are definitely weakened. Where is that guy over there? It's the middle guy. I want to take him down as quickly as possible instead of spreading out the damage. That way I reduce the damage that I that I take. <sighs> All right, critical time! Oh yeah! Yeah. 
Man, I didn't even have to use my craft. Or my, well, craft break, whatever. Same thing. Whew, so have you monsters had enough? There she goes again. How's everything on your side, Joshua? I'm putting in the combination right now. Let's see, it was 544818, I think. I'm okay here, so just focus on the work. Alright, it's open. Now all we need to do is replace the ornament. Oh, baby, I'm on a roll! Come on, come on, come on, you monsters! Sorry to have kept you waiting, Estelle. Our work is done here. Huh? D done? Wait, so you've already replaced the orbit? Yep, I don't think we'll need to worry about any more monsters. Sheesh, that's it? You sound like that's a bad thing. <laughs> Must be your imagination. You really are something else. Alright, so we got that done. Let's go turn that into the, uh, the Bracer Guild. And then we shall move on and go talk to the mayor. So I will see you guys back at the Bracer Guild. 600 Mira, 3 BP, nice. Alright. I don't think there's any th new things. Yeah. All of them are, all, pretty much all the remarks to them are done. She reported. That other one disappeared from the list. That was kind of, it's kind of weird. Anyway. Yeah. So. Let's go heal. Just because we're a little low on the healing. I don't think we'll actually really need to be healed for this next little bit. Little while, but. Better be safe than sorry. Provided I actually select the right option. And not dirt like an idiot. Slip past this guy. Alright. So, it was the mayor that we needed to go to, right? Yeah, mayor class's request. So, I believe the mayor's residence, yes, it's over here to the east. Do you think the mayor's even in today? Being as busy as he is, I'm sure there's a pretty good chance that he's out. Well, bless my soul, if it isn't Estelle and Joshua. Hi, Mayor Klaus. Hope we're not disturbing you, sir, but we've gone on behalf of the Bracer brace Guild about a job you requested. Yes, I heard from the Guild the two, the two of you would be coming. So you're taking over your father's work while he's away, are you? Well, we're trying to, at least. I'm very sorry about my dad uh, reneging on his promise like this. Is that how you say that word? I've actually never seen that word before. There's no need for apologies. Knowing your father, it's typical for him to be swamped with work like this. Anyway, with Lita and my wife out, out and about, I'd like to move this conversation somewhere else. Why don't we head upstairs to my study and go over the details? In truth, I don't think you'll find this request particularly difficult. It's for that reason, I think, that asking the Dale to do this may have been a pr bit presumptuous. Unfortunately, I'm unable to get away from my work, and I had to break down and ask the guild for help. We were informed that this job involves the transportation of a certain something, but what is it exactly you want that you would like to us to carry and where? I would like you to pick up a septium crystal from the Malga mine and deliver it here. When you say septium, do you mean like Cephas that we often come across? Accurately speaking, Cephas is a fragment of septium which is too small to be used as precious stones. Therefore, this Cephas is refined and processed into quartz which, we can, which can be installed into orbits. So that's the difference, huh? I think I got a better grasp on things now. Joshua being the nerdy guy with all the explanations. We've actually been able to obtain a certain kind of septium called Esmelus from the Malga Mine since the olden days. However, since a large piece of this crystal was recently discovered, I've asked the Mine Chief to hold onto it until someone could pick it up. So you'd like us to... Oh, wow, voice crack. So you'd like us to pick up this crystal from the Mine Chief and pick, bring it here, is that correct? Precisely. What do you think? Is this something you, can, you think you can handle? The transport of a precious gem, huh? Be a nice change from fighting monsters. Should keep us on our toes, too. Alright, we'll do it. I appreciate your willingness to help. Please take this with you. If you show that to one of the workers, they should let you into the mine. Good luck. Alright. I believe the mall got... Hold on, before we go... Hello. I heard from Lita that the vegetables from the Perzal farm haven't arrived. I wonder what's going on. The vegetables from there have such a delicious, fresh flavor. That probably has something to do with the extermination we just did. I'm, just, I'm kind of exploring a little bit here because... I, th I was thinking maybe there might be a chest somewhere we can get. Just loot, loot the place, you know. Just exploring a little bit. Oh, that's probably lead it, yeah. Same as the Perzel's farm's vegetables are finally going to be shipped. By any measure, the weather certainly hasn't been bad this year. I wonder if something happened. 
So yeah, off we go to the Maga Mine, which is we uh we passed right by that earlier when we went up to the um to the uh what was it the um crap I forgot the name the Esmelis Tower. What thing was last episode or the episode before? I don't even remember. Almost forgot to hit the key to unpause the recording. Yay me! Uh, you know what? Those guys aren't even worth fighting anymore. They only give me like two experience points, so I'm just gonna run past them. Yeah, this Melis Tower is up to the northwest, so we're going up here to the northeast instead, where the Maga Mine is. Check for chests, though. I definitely want to find and get chests. Also, that guy is a dude. Well, actually, more accurately, he's a beetle. But whatever. Who cares? What he's going to be, he's going to be dead in a second here. That's what he's going to be. AKA now. Nope, Beetle, not even messing with you today. Okay. There's a dead end over there, which I'm pretty, sh pretty certain means there's a treasure chest there. I mean, why would there be a dead end with nothing there? Hello, Beetles. I ended up having to use uh, Joshua's break there to, to, so he wouldn't die, because he was about to die. So, unfortunate, but whatever. It, he didn't die, which was the important part. Uh, yeah, like I said, treasure chest. White bracelet. This chest is now full of disappointment. You know what, speaking of, you know what, I, I haven't checked much equipment here. Don't we have stuff? Yeah, there's white bracelets. White, white bracelets, what? <laughs> Good job, me. Um, uh, let's see. Also... It's, that's the, it's supposed to change the, the mugshot there. It's supposed to change to Joshua, but it's not changing for some reason. Yay for glitchy game! It wasn't usually this glitchy. I don't know why it's suddenly glitchy. There we go. That, that'll fix it. But we don't have anything good, so... I was just checking to see if there's anything we had. I don't think we can cook anything. Nope. Okay. It just, I just hadn't checked my inventory for equipment and stuff, so I'll just check and make sure I didn't miss anything good. Ended up using Estelle's break there to make to make that battle a little bit faster. So Estelle, that way leads to the Mall of the Mine. Let's go report. Oh, we got reporter Freddy. Oh. I'm an idiot, I forgot to turn in the... Well, let's... I'll meet you guys back there. Alright, back here at the Orwell factory, because of my stupidity. We're back, Freddy. Oh, hi, Estelle. From the look on your face, it seems like you finished the job. Yep, and we did a fine job, too. Although, we did have a few hang-ups. We thought we'd report to you as a matter of good measure. Or, rather, you just thought we'd report to you, because otherwise I would've forgotten about this whole quest. So it really was burnt out, huh? I'm sure it happened because we were late replacing it. Sorry, kids. You were put in harm's way because of me. There's no need to apologize. It comes with the territory. Dealing with dangerous jobs is part of a bracer's work. I appreciate you saying that. But, oh, I know. How about I give you this to make amends? MP2... Quartz was the thing... I knew there was something that I was... Whatever. This is a quartz? This is a quartz? Yep, it's an MP2 quartz. It can prevent an enemy's arts. It'd be pretty useful if you use it effectively. Thanks. We appreciate it. No, thank you to the both of you today. If you need to discuss anything about Ormerts or Bents, then stop by any time. Never forget to swing by if you have any other business needs. That's why it wasn't showing up on the bulletin board, because I never actually completed it. I'm an idiot. Okay, anyway, I want to go to Ormerts real quick, because, um... So we got information, save enemy status, and then MP2. Yeah, let's give that to Joshua. Let's see if we can also, um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to see, can I open up a second slot for Estelle? Okay, no, I'm missing a little bit of Sepeth there. Alright, that's fine. Let's go turn this in. Uh, reports. 
600 Mira, 3 BP, nice. So yeah, there it is. Alright. Well, that was kind of stupid of me. So, next time on Trails in the Sky, I will meet you guys back up at Malga Mine, and we will continue going that way. See you guys next time.